गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाष्टदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ता तदवताय नमो नम जम प्रव्रजंत मनुपेतम पेत कृत दैपायन विरह Ramayana is very common in our Bharat. Very common. Common people they recite Ramayana. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna is saying the common people mostly what they want. They mostly want to be happy in their family. They want to be happy in their family, in their business, in their common life. So they see that if we follow this dharma, then we will be happy in this life. This is what Bhagavad Gita Bhagavan Krishna is saying. Jasastra vidhi utsurjya vartate kama karata na sa siddhi mavapnuti na sukham na paramangati. Na sukham na paramangati. If we do one mistake in our life, then we will never get happiness and we will not get higher destinies. Because what you are doing, activities, will determine your next destinies. Jam jam vapi smaran bhavam tejati ante kale varam tam tamevati kumtaya sada tad bhava bhavita. At the time of death, what are you doing? It doesn't matter. If at the time of death you can remember Krishna, you can remember Bhagavan. So how at the time of death you remember Krishna? It is not easy. You need practice for that. So at the present moment, if any difficult situation comes, you forget Krishna. If some problem comes, 
some difficult situation come, some accident happens, we suddenly forget everything. We forget Bhagavan. So time of death is very, very difficult. Very difficult moment. And whatever consciousness you have that time, mostly we forget to remember Krishna at that time, to remember Lord Rama at that time. We just remember our father, mother, or we remember our property, wealth, what will happen to this? Now I am going to die, what will happen to my factory, my business? Who will look after after me? We just think about those things. We forget remembering Bhagavan. Whatever you remember, what is your consciousness level at the time of death will determine your next birth. In Bhagavatam we see, Bharat Maharaj was an emperor in the whole earth planet. But he was very, very pious. And he, after 50 years age, when he was, like we you know, Panchaswardhan Banam Prajet, after 50, there is a 51, so do he detach from family and so do engage himself in doing bhajan of Bhagavan, bhajan of Krishna. So Bharat Maharaj followed the footsteps of all the great races. He went to the forest to do bhajan. But what happened? He became attached to a deer, baby deer, like we are attached to dogs, cats. In delays, we see the cats and dogs there wandering here and there free. In India, we see this. But in town, they are in nice place. And in villages, cows are taken proper care. But in town, cows are neglected. But cats and dogs are taken care. This is consciousness level. This is the difference. If you come attached to Bharat Maharaj, the first time you see Bhagavatam, the attachment. He could not get liberation. He could not get his salvation, but he became attached to a deer and got a deer's birth. Such a great devotee. Even what happened to what will happen to us? We are attached to so many things. If you're too much attached to your property, you become a snake. So many things are there. If you're too much attached to, if you are not ignoring, you will never come to temple. Not pay obeisances, not going down hills. You remain as tree. Like Nala Kuber Manigri, Nagatum Temple to India. The two sons of Kuber. Kuber is the Devata of Kuber, Dhan Devata. Complete mercy of Lakshmi Devi and Kuber. But Kuber's sons are very, very proud. Because their father is the most richest person in heaven. What to speak of here? Here in like the Tata Pirla Ambani, like they are rich. Mm. But their wealth also temporary. But Kuber is representing, is given that post of all the wealth. So his sons are very, very proud. They disrespected Narad Muni, they disrespected Sadhus. And they what happened? They did not bow down, they became trees. But because they understood this, Realize that mistake, ask forgiveness, they are forgiven. After tree birth, they got the mercy of Krishna and they are delivered. Due to Narad Muni. The Narad Muni caused them to become trees. So similarly, it is very, very important what you remember at the time of death. And if you want to be happy in this life and next life and life after life, then we should follow Shastra. Shastra Vidhi. So Bhagavad, in Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan is saying, Ja Shastra Vidhi Utsurja Bhartate Kama Karata. Means neglecting the principles, the rules, injunctions given in Shastra. We neglect it, disobeying. We don't care. Shastra telling, our Vedic Shastra telling, teaching us the etiquette, the manners, the rules, how we should live. And based on this, Bhagavan doing his pastimes to teach us this. How we can properly lead ourselves in religious life. How our life will be based on dharma. The example himself Bhagavan gave. 
ਕਿ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਡਿਸਰਵਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਬਰਤ ਤੇ ਕਾਮ ਕਰਤ ਬਾਈ ਉਹ ਮਿਊਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਨੋ ਸ ਸਿੱਧੀ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਬਰਤ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਵੇਸਟ ਯੂ ਨਾਟ ਗੈਟ ਪਰਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦੀ ਪਰਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਦ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਬਰਤ ਦੀ ਪਰਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਬਰਤ ਇਜ਼ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਫ੍ਰੋਮ ਦੀ ਸਾਈਕਲ ਆਫ ਬਰਤ ਐਂਡ ਡੈਥ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਮੁਕਤੀ ਐਂਡ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਬਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦੀ ਹਾਈਐਸਟ ਪਰਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ to be free from the cycle of birth and death janma mrityu chakra se mukt hona this is human birth is meant for that's why the residents of the heavenly planets even though the devatas they want to take birth as human because human birth it is possible not possible in those who are residents in heaven so if you physical somebody doing this way you labor at a perfection in your heart you will never never be liberated you will always remain here in this world suffering life after life everything is given you have given nice body nice sari if you misuse you will be punished you have wealth if you don't use in the service of krishna service of bhagwan then you will become poor all money will be taken from you if you have a beautiful body you misuse that body for enjoyment they will get next life of this you misuse your eyes you become blind or half blind don't misuse anything given by the lord you should use everything for his service for devotional service that's why na sa siddhi mabapnuti na sukham if one wants to be happy in his life then he should follow shastra vidhi what is given in shastra what is given in shastra shastra is a bhagwan's words supreme lord himself bhagwan himself he appeared descend this world he does his past time his lila to teach us what is beneficial for us so we'll discuss some few past times from sri ramaya maharaj dasrat the father of lord ram when lord ram left he wanted to keep the promise of his father ramayan is based on this promise because satya ragukul reeti sada pran jaye par bachan na jaye this is ragukul this is the dynasty the ragu dynasty the great king for satya so what is satya what is sake of dharma for the sake of dharma if the king who is actually the father of the whole planet is the father is the guardian like the guardian of the family he become corrupt he is in the path of adharma choose to be in the path of adharma what will happen to the children they all will become spoiled so similarly the king supposed to be narayan narayan the representative of bhagwan they follow all the, this was the our planet of how it was ruled bharat for so many years the kings were they were most religious most truthful for sake of dharma pran jay they can give up their life they can sacrifice their life for the sake of dharma because it is eternal and this is sat for the sake of satya and dharma and that dharma is not based on their personal interest now they those becoming politicians ministers or king they fast want to fulfill their pocket because they are corrupt they are not religious they are not following dharma they are following the dharma of their body their family they want to satisfy their senses they are not following the dharma established by bhagwan that's why the kings are they were so much following the path of dharma fully especially in the ragu dynasty in the surya vansha bhagwan ram appeared the title is maryada purushottam ram till bhagwan has some special attributes in his in his past times leela is based on maryada purushottam the bhagwan krishna is leela purushottam and lord ram is a maryada purushottam maryada vedic etiquettes 
he established through his own pastimes. So Maharaj Dasrath was very, very wise. And Bhagavan appeared, appeared uh, as his son. So we should understand Maharaj Dasrath for the sake of Satya, uh, to keep the promise. How? Just give some hint about this. Maharaj Dasrath gave words to Mata Koike. Maharaj Dasrath gave words to Mata Sai. If anything, I will satisfy, I fulfill your, if you ask any boon, I will satisfy. Why? It seems that Maharaj Dasrath was so much attached to Queen Koike. It's not like this. We understand according to our consciousness. Because Kaikeyi assisted Lord uh, King Dasarath in a Dharma Jutta. Kaikeyi was very expert, fighter and charioteer, everything expert, being a queen. And while there was battle among the demigods and demons, Daivasu Sandra, that time Maharaj Dasarath, demigods, the devatas, they asked specially help from Maharaj Dasarath. Please help. The Maharaj Dasrath was so powerful, he went to fight on behalf of the, of the devotees. At that time, in certain moment, Maharaj Dasrath fainted. And that time, Mother Kaikeyi took look after the Maharaj Dasrath, uh, saved his life and also did the battle. This is the, she followed this dharma. In the dharma, the for sake of dharma, Mother Kaiki, she has no personal, she is fully dedicated to Maharaj Dasarath. At that time, but Mother Kaiki had no desire to ask any boon from Maharaj Dasarath. She told, when there will be required, I will ask. This is one contest. Another contest, Lord Ram is now very, very young baby. Is Bhagavan himself. Lord Ram came for to establish Maryada to perform the Ramayana so that we will hear in the Ramayana purify ourselves. The whole world is being purified by Ramayana. So Lord Ram has to do it past times. The once Lord Ram, when his baby was very dear to Mother Kaikeyi, asked Mother Kaikeyi, oh, Mother, if I ask anything, you will give me. The mother told, yes, for you I can give my life. He said, no, when I will be qualified to become the king. At that time, you asked from my father one boon that I should go to forest. Because my father will never let me go to forest. She said, mother, why you asked, why are you asking this? How will you tell it? He said, this is the, the reason why I appeared here. This is necessary, otherwise how I deliver the whole world? I have to perform my Leela. So Mother Kaikeyi, whatever boon she asked from Maharaj Dasarath, it was for the pleasure of Lord Ram. That's why this Satya is so important. Otherwise it will not be so important. Because any Dharma, any Satya is not greater than Bhagavan. Dharmantu Satsa Bhagavad Pranitam. Our dharma should be performed for this pleasure of Bhagavan. To follow Bhagavan's words, Krishna's words, Lord Ram's words, that is dharma. Krishna Bhagavan is saying in Bhagavad Gita that Manmana Bhava, think of me, keep me in your mind, become my devotee, Madha Bhakta, worship me, Madjaji, Mam Namaskaru. Pay obeisance to me. Saritran. I promise you, if you do this, Mahavasati Satyam Te I will deliver you. There is no doubt in this. To follow Bhagavan's word, that is Dharma. That's why Mother Kaikeyi, whatever she asked boon from Maharaj Dasarath, it was not for her own interest, but for the interest of Lord Ram. And how Mother Kaike forgot this thing? Totally forgot. She did not remember. When she remembered, and by the arrangement of Yoga Maya Sakti of Bhagavan, 
भगवानाच्या जन्म आहे सर तू परफॉर्म दिलेला इन टाइम रिमाइंडेड मदर करके थ्रू मंथरा तो मंथरा इज द इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन दिस पास्ट वी ऑल कंडेम मंथर मंथरा इज वेरी वेरी बैड इफ समबडी इन आवर फॅमिली इफ ब्रिंग्स द न्यूज फ्रॉम दिस साइड टू दैट साइड क्रिएट क्वारल व्हिच इज यू आर मंथरा प्रैप्स इज नॉट all the characters in ramayana that glorious for the pleasure of lord ram when mantra just remind you telling kai kai you are so foolish you are becoming happy because lord ram will be king your son will not be king you are so foolish you are not understanding your own interest you don't remember maharaj told you to ask some boon you just ask this mother kai kai again and again mantra told mother kai kai remember that boon which promise to lord ram also what mahara dasrat promised to give all his remember and together she asked this is for the pleasure of her lord ram and why she asked bharat to be king because mother kai kai in ramayan you read bharat had not so much uh, not so much close relationship with mother kai kai because naturally all the mothers they had first place love lord ram second day their own son in the present era vrindavan also like this all the gopis they love their krishna first second their own sons because bhagavan the center of all love and affection even maharaj bharat uh, bharat they rejected mother kaike for this but again accepted after that why because the if bharat would not be the king if that would not be asked then how you know how ideal brother is bharat how much sacrifice he did for lord ram how much depth of devotion he had lakshman served lord ram throughout the whole life sacrificed his family life left the urmila when he began went to with lord ram so like shadow did not eat sleep everything give up for the service of lord ram such an ideal brother but bharat the embodiment of renounced he was given the kingdom but he was not happy bharat just approached when bharat heard they went to uncle's house in the meantime all this past times happened lord ram went to forest and whole ayodhya they all drowned in the ocean of a separation birah all are crying as if the master of ayodhya husband of ayodhya has left as if ayodhya become widow the husband died women become widow all happiness is gone becomes white color white cloth no entertainment nowadays is not happening like this for one day i think they become sad and the next day they become same like before because now we have lost that the sentiment that natural attachment is not there attachment is not bad if it is pure it will lead to you to the path of dharma if the attachment is contaminated it will bring you to the path of adharma you see how pure attachment they have and bharat saw this whole ayodhya what is the situation when he entered the palace he saw that mothers are all widow father has left already but how maharaj dasrath left only remembering ram ha ram ha ram Lord Ram left to forest and Mar- Mar- uh, Maharaj Dasarath wife had also left so this shows how much love Maharaj Dasarath had for Ram Ram was his life and soul this is true this is love whatever we do sadhan karo bhajan karo marte janle hoy in our vaishnava they say this whatever sadhan bhajan you are doing temple or bhajan you are doing if you know how to die that is your success of a life 
एतावन संख्य जोगाभ्यां स्वधर्म परिनिष्ठय जन्म लाव परेकुंसा अंते नारायण स्मृति If you are following your स्वधर्मा properly, भागवतम सेंग दिस स्वधर्म परिनिष्ठय If you are properly following your dharma, how will know? Who will know? Somebody is following or not? Janma lava, your life is successful or not? You are following your dharma or not? How will know? Ante Narayana Smriti, if at the time of death, you could remember Lord Narayana. That Bhagavan saying the same thing. Anta kale cha mame vasparan mukta kale param. जब प्रयाति समाधवाम जाते नाश्तेत्रसन सयम इन भगवत गीता भगवान कृष्ण सिंह दिस दैट अंतकाल है व्हाट इज अंतकाल वी हैव बीन गिवन सर्टेन नंबर्स ऑफ ब्रेथ द ब्रीथिंग हैज काउंटिंग कोई नहीं जो लास्ट सपोज यू आर गिवन 1000 काउंट्स ऑफ ब्रेथ यू कैन टेक द लास्ट काउंट स्विच ऑफ देन दिस बॉडी फिनिश Time is over. Now you have to leave this body. That is antakala, the time of last breath. Don't think that we are given unlimited time. <laughs> we will be forever finish our enjoy our life and waste our time like this. Not like this. So do we take it very very seriously? Antakala is a mame was smaran mukta kare bolo. One remembers Krishna at the time of last last breath. Suddenly will attend me. भगवतम सिंह से मिलते हैं जन्म लाभ पर कुंसा अंत नारायण स्मृति इफ आर द टाइम ऑफ डेथ आर द टाइम ऑफ योर लास्ट काउंट ऑफ ब्रेथ इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर भगवान योर इष्ट देवी योर वर्षी पे बुल लॉर्ड होम योर वर्षी पे ये बात लाभ है लॉर्ड कृष्ण लॉर्ड राम द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इफ यू रिमेंबर देन देन योर लाइफ इज सक्सेसफुल and whatever dharma you have done that is also success it is not easy that you should know that is say you know how to live in this world the art of living but you should know the art of death how to die that is difficult to live you now you are living now but when you should prepare before the time of last examination you see the ideal father Maharaj is setting this example for us. Only remembering Lord Ram, he is emperor, king. Everything is there. Lord Ram was not only his song; he has other songs also. Lord Ram was his life heir. Lord, Lord Ram left the forest, life heir also. And Bharat, how ideal he is! When Bharat came and saw that father has, left, and this happened. He was very, very sad. He told Mother Kaiki, "You are become the cause. I will not call you Mother today, from today." So Kaiki knew this. Kaiki asked this boon. He made her heart like stone to ask this boon. Don't think that Kaiki was cruel and did not understand the pain. She took all the blame. You know, everybody will blame me for this. But for the pleasure of Lord Ram, she asked this boon. Even Bharat rejected Kaiki, Mother Kaiki. The Bharat approached to Mother Kosalya. Oh Mother, you are Mother of Lord Ram. Ram will never disobey your order. You just give order. Oh Ram, please return. Immediately, Ram will follow your order. But Mother Kaiki told, I cannot do this. Why? Because my Ram went for the sake of dharma to establish dharma, he knew everything. Not only to keep promise of his father, but for his pastimes, he has gone to the forest to purify the whole, all the pastimes of Dandakara and all this in every way. Bhagwan went to establish dharma to perform the Rama. You know nowadays also in our tradition, Hindu tradition, if any family if have any problem happening in house or in Sundar Kand part, that one, Sundar Kand, Sundar Kand past time, Lord Ram, you get the blessing, mercy, and 
We are using these scriptures for material enjoyment, for a temporary benefit. This is our because we don't have proper guide. We don't have proper guru in our life. So using our we are following everything. But using everything for our own material temporary happiness. Why not taking this idea, not putting in your life, so that our life will be successful, life after life. Then Bharat approached to for sake of Ram. He cannot accept that he will become king and his worship will Lord. Bharat was not only brother, his master, his Bhagavan is Lord Ram. They all worshiping Lord Ram as their Lord. Lord Ram is their life and soul. This is what uh, cannot accept. The Bharat approached whom? Guru Dev. Guru Vasishtha. So Guru Dev, if you order, Ram will never do The Guru Dev told, Bharat, your devotion is great. I would certainly like to help you. But I can try follow you. But Ram will uh, obey my order in this case or not. So he is following my order. <laughs> Guru Dev taught this to do. He did this. The greater than Maharaj Vasishtha is Maharaj Janak. We said, how can we Maharaj Janak be so great? We don't know Maharaj Janak. Janak is very great. Janak is called Mahajan. In Bhagavatam, there is twelve Mahajans given name. Mahajan means we call wealthy persons, not. Mahajan, those are representatives of Dharma. Swayambhu Narada Sambhu, Kumara Kapila Manu, Pralahada Janak Abhisma, Balir Bayasaki Vaya. Twelve Mahajan, Dwadas Mahajan. They are the representative authority of the Dharma. The Dharma I am telling, it is about this Sanatana Dharma. Not the dharma of now. Sanatana dharma is eternal dharma. The dharma of the soul which is given in our Vedic literature established by Bhagavan himself. Swayambhu, Brahma, Narada, Sambhu, Sankarji, Sadasiva. Swayambhu, Narada, Sambhu, Kumara, the four Kumara sons of Brahma. Sanak, Sanandana, Sanatana, Sanat Kumara. Kumara Kapila, Kapila is Kapil Dev, Bhagavan's incarnation, son of Mother Devoti, that Kapil Dev. Pralhada, Swayambhu Narada Sambhu Kumara Kapila Manu, Vaivasata Manu, who received Bhagavad Gita knowledge from Bhagavan in the beginning of creation. Kumara Kapila Manu, Vaivasata Manu. There is many, many Manu, 14 Manus are there, but this is Vaivasutama. Pralhada Janaka Bhisma. Pralhada Maharaj. You know, great devotee Pralhada. For whom Lord Nursing Dev appeared. Janaka Maharaj. The father in law of a Lord Maharaj. Janaka is Rishi. He is not like ordinary king. Janaka Rishi. Even Sukadev Goswami, who spoke Bhagavatam, Vyasdev sent him. To keep, take test from Janak Maharaj. Sukhadev Goswami, he went to Janakpuri. That's so Sukhadev Goswami's position is very high. How you know? Janak Maharaj, he tested there also. Janak Maharaj is very, very great devotee of Sankar and also the authority of Dharma. Janak Bhisma. Bhisma Dev, we think this Bhisma Dev is not here. Bhisma Dev is a great devotee of Bhagavan. Without Bhisma Dev, Mahabharata would not happen. And all the demons, Asuras will not be killed and Dharma would not be established. Bhisma Dev took the side of the Kauravas to destroy these other ones. It's a very difficult task. He did this. He had to sleep on the bed of arrows for the sake of Dharma. Rest of it. Bhisma Dev's contribution is that he is Mahajan. For the time of death, Bhagavan himself came to him give darshan. So you see, Bhagavan said Maharaj Yudhishthir, who is Dharmaraj himself, 
to take lessons from Bhishma Dev. Bhishma Dev's personality is there. Pralhad Janaka Bhishma, Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj was a demon, Asura. But he was a great devotee. He received all the mercy of Pralhad Maharaj in his dynasty, Bali. And Bali Maharaj, the devotion is very, very high. You know, Bhagavan came in Bhaman Avatar, in three steps of land, he took everything from Bali. This is Lila. Bali actually, Bali Maharaj surrendered himself fully. Atma Nivedan. He gave himself. He offered his, oh Lord, offer your third feet on me. Take me. Fully offered. So Bali Maharaj is also authority. Mahajan. Bayasaki Sukadev Goswami, who spoke Bhagavatam. And by Jamaraj telling this verse, so Jamaraj himself, Dharmaraj, is also Mahajan. So these are not Janak Maharaj, he is a Mahajan. And Bharat approached Janak Maharaj. Oh, Father, you should come. You are our guardian. You should come. Janak Maharaj kept his request. All came to Chitrakut. And in Chitrakut, when approaching from distance, with so many Sena, everything, because King Bharat is coming, all coming, Guru, Guru, sister, Janak Maharaj, all coming, to meet Lord Ram. And Bharat intention to bring Ram back to Ram Ayenge. Yeah, that's why coming. But Lakshman became very, very angry to see this. Due to Bharat, we are now in forest. Again coming to, to snatch our happiness from forest life. Lakshman became very, very angry. So Lord Ram testified, Lakshman, you don't understand. Jos me bos ko mat ko. Don't lose your temper out of so much spirit. You should control yourself. Understand who is Bharat. Whole world can be in one path of the Adharma, but Bharat can never seek from himself, from the path of Dharma. He is fully embodiment of that. Bharat. Dharma ki avatar. Fully so much dedicated to Lord Ram. You don't know Bharat. So Lord Ram tells a story. For that I don't want to tell all Lord Ram tried to preach him, convince Lakshman that what mistake we are going to do. Lakshman was convinced. They greeted Bharat. And there was Sabha arranged. And in that assembly, Maharaj Janak was given the post of a judge to decide. And one side from this was Janak Maharaj's court is uh, arranged. And one side Maharaj Bharat is there, Guru sister, and the mothers were there, Mother Kosil and Kweki all were there. In one side, Ram Lakshman, the Sita, they were there. And then Bharat approached. On behalf of Ayodhya, O oh Brother Ram, for me only you were given. What kingdom you want to, uh, to give me? Or you, I am now, I came to put you at your feet. I am offering myself to you. Please accept Ayodhya and return. Many, many arguments given. He told many things. The Maharaj Janak told one thing to Bharat. You should know Bharat. Your Lord is Ram. Your Bhagavan is Ram. You have great devotion. Do you know the principle of Bhakti? The principle of Bhakti is the first consideration what is pleasing to your Lord. What your Lord wants, you should ask Him. Don't impose what you think that this is your satisfaction, what you want. If really you are devotee of Lord Ram, you should ask Lord Ram how you can please Him. Then he approached. The Lord Ram told, O Bharat, your devotion is very, very great. I accept what you give, I accept. But because you are my devotee, I give you order. Look after my kingdom. Who said this is my kingdom? My Raja, I take it. But I am, I order you, you should look after on behalf of me 14 years. Understand? And Maharaj Janak told, to so Bharat, your devotion is a bottomless, endless ocean. 
Even Lord Ram can be fully drowned in it. Fully. But the Ram is that mountain. Even it will be fully drowned in your devotion of your devotion, it will not shake one inch. Same body with Maria. Like this. So then Maharaj Janak concluded, oh, Bharat, you showed what you are pleasing to your Lord, you should. So like this in Ramayana so beautifully explained. So you should take the lessons. And if you want to be ideal in our life, we should follow this. Ideal so be how can be ideal brother, how can be and all it is possible. You can be an ideal wife, you can ideal brother, ideal father, ideal all. You can get this ideal others from Ramayana. But everything is based on Suddha Bhakti, pure devotion. If your devotion is pure for the Lord, then you can follow Dharma. That means, that means say, Dharma is nothing, Sanatan Dharma is nothing but Suddha Bhakti. Unalloyed Suddha Bhakti, not personal interest, but for Suddha Bhakti, Anya Vilasita Sunyam Jnana Karma Adi Anapritam Anukulyana Krishna Silanam Bhakti Uttama. This is definition that what is completely pleasing to the Lord for His pleasure, giving up all unfavorable mood. Your bhakti should not be mixed with karma. Your devotion which not mixed should be with jnana. Jnana karma di anapratam. It should be pure devotion. Then you can really be ideal. That's how we should try to follow Suddha Bhakti in our life. And the devotion in this, and concluding my speech here, the devotion, bhakti, we don't know how to perform bhakti. We don't. Technically, we cannot practice because we are so much distracted. Kali Yuga is so like this. Kali Yuga, many things forbidden. Cannot do. Kali Yuga, Jagyas are forbidden. So, all things are forbidden. Asso medha gavalambam sanyasa palapaitrukam. Devirana sutaptati kalo pancha vivarjai. Kali Yuga, five things forbidden. Asso medha jagya, gomad jagya. They are all forbidden. Other Yuga, it was there. Sannyasa is prohibited. Karma Sannyasa is prohibited in Kali Yuga. But Narottam Sannyasa is approved. That Sannyasa. We are following that Sannyasa. Other Sannyasa is forbidden. Kalu Pancha Vibharjet. Palapaitrika. The time of Sraddha offering meat. Deberana Sutatpati. Through Devar. Devar understand? The husband's brother. Husband died. And through Devar you can we get children. It was in other Yuga. Kali Yuga is prohibited. Devara Sutta Prati. Kalo Pancha Vibharjit. Kali Yuga is like many things are prohibited. We are limited and it is polluted. But Kali Yuga is so much fortunate. Kalo Dosa Nidheras and Bhagavatam is saying the Kali Yuga has so many faults. It's not a very good time. Dosa Nidheras. Ocean of Faults, those. But Asti Eka Mahan good. But one quality is so great. Kirtanad Eva Krishna Sya Mukta Sangha Parampari. Krishna Kirtan, Bhagavan's Kirtan. You can devote your Lord Ram, you can chant the names of Lord Ram. You can chant the names of Krishna. Krishna's Kirtan, Sankirtan, Glorification, Katha, Nam, special Nam Sankirtan is recommended in this way. Kirtanath Eva Snasya Mukta Sangha Then you will be liberated from it. Automatically you will become come to this track, path of dharma and you will make your life successful. You will be liberated. You will be delivered from this person of birth and death. That's why this is the essence of this, of the teachings. So I conclude my speech here. We should chant some Mahamantra Kirtan. Then if you have any questions, I will be back to you first. Both Mahande, Hari 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 Krishna. Jari Nam Sankirtan Ki Jai Marjala Purusuttam Sri Ramachandra Bhagavan Ki Jai Pavarapatra Hanuman Ki Jai
वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय विश्वानंद स्मृति राधा रानी की जय समागत भक्त वृंद की जय हिताय और ब्रह्मानंद हरि हरि बो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे